hey guys welcome back to my channel Pimi natural fro it's your girl peace and in today's video i'll be showing you guys how to make african threading in cornrow styles and also how to slay with african threading in wigs okay before we start if you're not yet subscribed to my channel please kindly do so and also turn on your post notification to get notified when i post new videos and also if you've been here with me all this while thank you so much welcome back okay without wasting much of the time let's get started So I already went through my wash day process the previous day and this is me taking off my satin bonnet and scarf. My hair felt so soft from the deep conditioner I used which is the Lina Organics Aloe Rice Deep Conditioner. So to make this African threading, you will be needing your African thread, a rat tail comb for sectioning, a white tooted comb for detangling, some hair oil, cream and a leave-in conditioner for moisturizing your hair so when you've gotten all your stuffs ready you start off by sectioning your hair starting from the front down to the back just like you're making cornrow note that if you haven't moisturized your hair yet you need to be extra careful to prevent breakage because your hair might be tangled at that point if you're the one making the hair for yourself you need to be very conscious of the line pattern to get a very neat Line. Like I said earlier, you need to be extra careful to separate the knots from your hair because you don't want to make it. Okay, this is how I section my hair and I will just put them in together and then I section the rest of my hair. So for each section, I'll further section them into as many sections that I can work with and put them together before treading the hair. So after sectioning the part I'll be working with, I'll go in with my leave-in conditioner I will massage it into my hair strand to absorb it because I have low porosity and after that the next thing I'll do is to apply my cream to seal in the moisture from the deep condition from sorry from the leave-in conditioner I'll also work that into my hair strands starting from the roots to the ends and also lock the whole process with a hair serum which I got from Olina Organics products Afterwards, I'll still apply the oil on my roots and massage the oil in because I'm trying to regrow my edges. So I would go in with my white to dead comb to detangle that section before I start treading. So I'll twist it in a way that it won't be tight when I'm treading. I'll go in with my African thread and start treading. Make sure when you're treading, the root is not tight because that, if it's tight, it's going to end up pulling your hair from your scalp which you don't want that to happen so you continue treading until you've reached your end and when you reach your end you tie up the African treading to secure the treading so it won't lose so as you can see my roots are not tight and they are painless so when you're done with the first section you move over to the next section you do the same thing you did applying your leave-in conditioner first your cream and then your oil to moisturize and to seal in the moisture that you have applied so when you're done with this you go ahead to detangle your hair using your white to dead comb and make sure that when you are detangling your hair you start detangling from the ends of your hair down to the roots because if you start detangling from the roots trust me you're gonna experience a lot of breakage so when you're done you separate that section into two and place the first treading you make in between them and then start treading the one that you're supposed to tread the second one serves as a closure for the first one it secures that one like making it to lie in a cornrow manner before you start treading the second one you have to twist it like you did with the first one before you started treading this helps to secure your roots and also prevent it from being tight like it will be very loose and you would love the outcome 
so you thread down like you did with the first one and if your thread finishes halfway you take another one to complete the threading process the process could take longer if your hair is long or very very long but you need to complete the threading because it's is what it then when you're done with it you move in to the next section you apply your leave-in conditioner like you did with the first and second one after that you apply your cream to seal in the leave-in conditioner which you have applied and also you move in with your oil to seal the whole process up that's moisturizing your hair that's just it so you continue doing this until you feel that your hair is moisturized after that you detangle with a white heated comb from the tips to the roots of your hair then after that you separate it and join the first and second one that you have made and twist it around before you start threading the hair so when you've secured it you start threading this process will make the hair not to be tight at the root so you start threading when you've gotten a little bit halfway you you put in the last the first and second one in join it together and then thread everything downwards guys it's quite simple yeah it's simple so I hope you try it so after that you continue until the rest of the hair is done so I will leave you guys to watch it
When you are done threading the whole section, the next step is to cut off the excess thread from the hair. Now the next step is to pack the corn rolled African threading using a rubber band and going in with your nylon bag. The reason for this is to protect your hair from what's coming and also to steam your hair because if you notice I didn't warm up or heat up my leave-in conditioner and after that you put on your wig cap yes we're gonna slay in this African threading so you put up your wig cap yes unfortunately my wig cap got torn oh my god so don't be like me and after that you know what to do next after putting on your wig cap you put on your wig and style. That's just it. You comb it out, fluff it out, and you're good to go. So as you can see, the wig laid so flat on my hair because of how I can roll the African threading in a flat manner. It looks so nice. Like you wouldn't even notice that what I have on is African treading like it's so nice you can slay in African treading guys don't let no one tell you shit about African treading so this is me combing out my wig and guys I look so beautiful and you're gonna look beautiful in yours too so we've come to the end of today's video if you like this video don't forget to give it a thumbs up and please if you're not subscribed yet kindly do so and also turn your notification on to get notified when I post new videos. See you in my next video. Bye!